Hey, hey, everybody. It's your girl, Storytime Miss Ty on deck. And it's your girl, Psychic Synonymous. Still anonymous. And together we are. Your favorite besties. <laughs> I, can't, I cannot stand you. Anyway. <laughs> See, she, she, she'll say something. And rev something up before we go on. And she thinks you could just forget about it and get all the funnies out before you record it. And that does not always work like that. I keep trying to tell her we are professionals. Okay? <laughs> Chasing that bag. Thank you guys so much for being on deck. And um, if you guys have been rocking with us, we really, really appreciate it. Um, before we jump into this story today, you guys get ready and brace yourself. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have anonymous give you guys a breakdown in just a sec. But before we get started, if you guys would like to sponsor this podcast or any of the podcasts, you guys please join us over at anchor.fm forward slash psychics dash anonymous, or you guys can go ahead and hit us on uh cash app. Just go ahead and dip that cash app, put in the dollar sign, and your favorite besties. We can use some uh, some cash app love over there because we lonely, y'all. I'm just saying. Anyways, um, without further ado, Anonymous, come on, give us give us the dirt. What's going on now? Hotmess.com. Okay, it says... The usual. But yeah, the usual. U.S. man says he'll pay 25000 to find a girlfriend. Who are we going to pay it to? To whoever finds him a girlfriend. What if... So what if you sell cat be the girlfriend? No, no, no. He's not paying you twenty five thousand dollars to be. Well, I read the article, oh. and he says he's. <laughs> no. So he says if you come at him, and, and if you're a woman who come in and be like, "Hey, I'll take the twenty five cat be your girlfriend." No, ma'am, no, you won't. Okay. That's not the way that works. Well, like, I'm okay. Why? Because some people might say you're tricking, so, but I don't know. Well, well, if he well if he paid yes. twenty five thousand for the woman he gave it to her, she said I'll be your girlfriend. That's tricking. Yeah, but he's so what he's saying is he wants somebody else to find him a girlfriend. Yes. Why he don't find his own girlfriend? He's working on that part too. Let's get into it. Okay. Okay. An American man is offering twenty five thousand dollars to anyone who can find him a serious girlfriend, and has made his own dating website to help his search. He made a website to find. He made a the whole website. It sounds like he got um, a whole website. It sounds like he has um, like he's socially awkward or something. There's something going on. But go on. Let's go on. Jeff Gebhardt from Kansas told local station KCTV that he is sick of dating the traditional way. In a video on his website, the 47-year-old explained that he doesn't like how people treat each other on dating apps either. So he decided to try something different by creating another day nap okay um to that get the was 20, unique. right right <laughs> let's see where he's going with this it says to get the twenty five thousand, someone must find jeff a uh, jeff a girlfriend who dates him and only him for a full year <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute he ain't done wait a minute he ain't done after that the matchmaker won't get that twenty five thousand dollars all at once Mm -mm. He said, instead, they will be given $5,000 once a year for five years. This man is crazy. If the relationship ends in less than five years, the payments will stop. No, no, he's he's full of it. He's so he's it. not offering the matchmaker $25,000 because here's the thing about a matchmaker. No matchmaker can guarantee you that so, this person is going to be with you for the, for the next five years. No matchmaker can guarantee that. It's just not going to happen. They can't guarantee that. So you're saying for every year that the, the, he's saying for every year that the matchmaker hooks him up and that the person and him and the girlfriend successfully stay together, he'll give that matchmaker five thousand dollars. So I don't know why he's putting twenty five thousand dollars. He's clickbaiting. You know what this sounds like to me, anonymous? Hmm. It sounds like a social experiment. That's what huh. it sounds like. It sounds like he's created this website. He's probably a narcissist. And you know whatever else probably you could even be a sociopath, but the, but the reason why I give these these strong statements because think about it, okay? Yeah, it's, yeah. Now yeah, if yeah. like say if I said okay, I want to find the perfect man for me. No, I I want the perfect man for me, but I'm gonna leave it up to anybody out there who's willing to make some money. You guys send me men, and I will rate them and judge them and critique them, right? And if I don't like them, I'm dismissing them, and I'm not gonna pay you for that. <laughs> but if I do like, so them, all your hard work would have been in vain. Exactly. And if I do like them, you guys better make sure they stay with my ass for the next up teen years in order for you to collect payment. It seems too um it's it's a very um it's almost like an asinine request. It is. You know? It's, it's not even almost, it is. It feels to me like it would be it's better suited as a social experiment. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I could see if he was like, Okay, no, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna see exactly who decides that they're gonna raise their hand and say, I'll do it. 
I'll find you a girl. You know what's funny about this thing? And I'm going to tell you what's will. funny about this thing. A lot of people would run for that job. But here's the thing about it. Think about ridiculous. this, too. Even $25,000, if we want to keep it real, a for a year's work is not enough. No, that's $25,000 for a year's work is not enough. Now, you break that down to $5,000 a year. You could probably panhandle $5,000 a year, depending on which city or state you're in. I say get you in. I'm just saying, for real. You know? <laughs> Money. Okay. I mean, Twenty five thousand dollars a year. You're below poverty. To so me, if you ask me, th th this sounds like jokes. But anyways, let's go on with the article, y'all. So Gebhardt says that he is happy to pay twenty five thousand dollars for love because he would spend a lot of money on dating, anyways. He also says he will give twenty five thousand dollars to a dog shelter after someone helps him find a girlfriend. Women can apply to date him on the website, but they will not be paid the $25,000. So, you know, if you guys go to this little website and say, I'll date you, I'm interested, I'm hot for you and horny for you and all that, he ain't giving you that $25,000. So, <laughs> go ahead and save your typing fingers. He ain't giving it to you. But you know what I don't understand? Mm -hmm. Now, why do he have to get love before he'll donate to a dog? <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, right. Little, it's I mean, interesting. Why? The dog can eat you now. Yeah, you can do the they donation. You right, you can to get some help. But Damn. doesn't that speak to, um, to his personality too, though? It does, because that's his oh, only if I get what I want will I rescue and help some dogs. That's dirty. You see what That's I'm saying? Dirty. But anyways, it says his website. I'm going to tell you guys his website name. Datejeff, J-E-F-F-G dot com. That's his website. Okay. Says that he has serious says that he has had serious girlfriends in the past but he has never been married and doesn't have any children. But he has a dog named Gunner and any possible girlfriend must love Gunner too. Well, she ain't, well okay. Oh, get this. Women have to take a survey to see if they get along with Jeff. It asks questions about things like drinking, smoking, and exercise, as well as how tidy they are. Mm. Okay, so here's the uh, uh, top three, yeah. some of the three questions that he will ask you, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why you come on over, I want to date Jeff. Number qu Question number one, ladies, mm -hmm. why did Jeff decide to make his own dating website? The article said that. The article said why you did If you were paying attention, so I'm not going to give it up though. If you were paying attention, then you would know that let's not, let's not give them the answers. If, if they were paying attention, they didn't know what the answers are, okay? Right. Question number two. Will women who apply to uh, date Jeff on his website be paid the 25000 This article clearly said the answer. Right. Clearly, exactly. okay? Question three. Has Jeff had any serious girlfriends? Well, yeah. If That's a way to just weed out people who are listening. Yeah, right. it just really is it's very very basic simple questions you get the answers in the first parts or the last two parts of the article so it's very very simple i know but it, you know um, it makes me tempted to do i don't know maybe it's just the goofball of me it tends to make it makes me tempted to take the survey to say the most extreme outrageous answers to every question it's really just for a laugh though not because you're really serious about it just because like dude get over yourself for jack get over yourself. and then outside of the top three that i read he it appears he has 10 other questions well, let's hear you guys on here so okay a couple of more are what are your thoughts on jeff gebhardt's offer what do you guys think about him offering the twenty five thousand dollars for somebody off uh getting him ridiculous. a girlfriend I think, right. I think it's ridiculous i think it's ridiculous um, and i think you should stop playing the damn games take the site down <laughs> okay another are dating apps popular in your country please explain your answer mm -hmm. so he's making this a universal thing mm -hmm. uh do you know any couples who met online are through an app please explain your answer because if you Started making certain app, a certain app sounds too good. He gonna run on that app, and it's gonna be no more day Jeff because he gonna be the found his honey on Eat Harmony. So yeah, exactly. I will be careful, ladies, if you're interested. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> careful of that answer. <laughs> okay. Um, what would you say is the most annoying thing about dating? Please explain your answer. Guys who go ooh, 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 dating <laughs> that's my Jeff. That's what my answer. Oh my god. When somebody creates their own dating site and then ask somebody that they'll pay them twenty five thousand dollars to date somebody's girlfriend. <laughs> That's what the most annoying thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, well, my, one of mine would be. I'm not interested. Yeah, okay? well, obviously, uh, we ain't interested. Your favorite Bessies ain't interested, but um, I would say that somebody who is completely self absorbed, the, a person to me who would create their own dating app and offer $25,000 for a matchmaker um, to find them love. And this is not even something they would even pay them within a year's time. For one, to me, you're completely stuck on yourself. Let's be honest. How are you going to have room for a girlfriend when you two stuck on you? Right. Now, come on. Right. But anyways, so another one of his questions is, in your opinion, what are the best things about being single? Why do you think so? One of the best things about being single is not having to deal with people like that yep. in the dating world. That is yep. one of the best things about being single. You know what? This man is completely self-absorbed, ladies. I hope you're paying attention. Yeah. It is all about him. 
Another good thing I think about being single is, you know what? You don't have to answer to nobody. I love that. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's a very freeing thing. Now, if you guys at home and uh, YouTube land, if you guys bait up and everything else like that, more, more power to you and kudos, okay? But the thing about it is, there's a certain way that you got to answer to people when you bait up. You it's know true. I mean? Because it's Respectfully. Out of, it's out of loyalty. You have it's loyalty, love, respect. respect. You, know you have I mean? to consider them, yeah. their feelings, even if you don't agree with them, you have right. to consider them. And then if you're single, yeah, you have to get to move home. I move. That's you know, right. I'm not That's true. Nothing to nobody besides my loved ones. Not like I'm just gonna be answering to people anyway, whatever. But out of respect, mm -hmm. it's the respectful thing to let people know. Yeah, going down that way, gonna be over there for a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Especially if you guys got a little living situation, it's just a whole lot of different things that come with that. But anyways, go mm -hmm. on. Um, and then okay, so this is what I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in YouTube land, podcast, and everyone around the universe. I'm speaking to you. <laughs> Okay, anyways, drama. this is anonymous. I know I love that bit of drama. This is anonymous. In my personal opinion, Jeff does not need a website. He can spend that $5,000 or that twenty five. dollars let's say that $25,000, which he does not plan to give to anybody no, within a year's time. What he would be better off doing is spending that in a social experiment. No, not a social I call it a, a focus group. You guys know focus groups, right? A focus group, a group of people get together, they're hired, and they get together for a certain purpose. In this case, Jeff, I think he really needs to see his mirror, his reflection. He needs somebody to be honest with him and tell tell them who he is. So I think it would be really helpful for him to use that $25,000 to get a group of men and women, different ages, Okay, so you can get different ages, different races, backgrounds, don't know each other, so you can get a universal perspective because he has this open worldwide. Mm -hmm. And um, without them knowing anything about him, he should sit there and present himself to them and tell them a little bit about himself, and why he's looking for love. You know, and this, he don't just have to tell them about the website or anything like that. But I think that uh, they should be able to interact with him and observe him. And the reason they should do this so they can form an opinion about him. Mm -hmm. And after they should be paid to form that opinion. And whatever their opinion is him, only thing he's paying them for in the focus group is their honesty to keep it real. Based upon um, the way you speak, the way you walk, your communication style, this is what I think about you. Based upon your physical appearance, this is what I think about you. Based upon your mannerisms, but can I just say this, this is what I think about you. I think that would be far more valuable to him than trying to open it up for a matchmaker who he's not even going to pay. He's going to swindle, and he seems very arrogant about doing so. And another thing that I think that he should do is use that $25,000 um, or his great medical care to get some counseling. Well, you just said what I was going to say. I think he definitely needs to... Um to talk to a therapist yeah it's, obviously it's so helpful mentally, but it also, is so helpful what i was going to wrap back into is what you just said um for the group to tell him what they think about him but to take it a step further not just what do they think about him what do they think is holding him back yes for stepping into his own yes. greatness mm -hmm. what's holding what do you guys think is holding me back from finding my true love yes what do you guys think is hindering me from going further in my love life mm -hmm. what do you guys think is hindering me from the way i conduct business the way i interact with family friends, whatever, whatever directions of his life, mm -hmm. because that needs to be the focal point. It needs to be more specified. What do you think is holding me back? Yeah, I What's agree. What's in my way, mm -hmm. right? And, what, and what do you on, think I can improve on? Right. You know, because sometimes we'll go to the table. I'm sorry, stay interrupt story time. I just wanted to kind of expand off of that. What I was going to say is, sometimes you'll ask a person, where do you rate your scale one through 10? And somebody say they're a nine when they're a solid four. Yeah. A lot of people see them as a solid four, but they're going around saying they're in nine territory. Well, now, we all know a nine is in a different class than a four. <laughs> you know, just put it. <laughs> and I'm going to say this, too. Sometimes people feel that because they have money, they're a nine, when really they're, a, they're still a fucking four. Yeah. Money don't make you a nine. It doesn't. No. You're still no. a four with money. That's right. what makes you a nine. Right. Now, take away the money, and what would you be? Okay, story time. So, um, I, I forgot where I was going, but I'm sorry. sure. I'm, no, it's okay. It's all right. But um, the last thing I like to just say, just kind of wrap this thing up. YouTube fam, light up the comments. Let us know. Have you guys ever heard of this story? What is your opinion? Would you guys say, hey, yeah, I'll hit Jeff up on the website and try to hook him up. Um, whatever the case, like the com comments up and let us know to the um, the podcast fam. Mm -hmm. You guys make sure to dip on over to your favorite besties13 at gmail.com and just let us know your opinion if you like to or different show ideas that you guys would like for us to cover. Mm -hmm. Now, to this guy, Jeff, 
I, really, like love to you. My opinion, like love to you. Like love the to best. you. But I mean, I, stop it. If this yeah. is not, if this, this is anything is not, less this is than not the right way. Conducting a social experiment, I say refrain from it. It's not a good look. It's just not. No, it's and not. I don't think it's gonna fare well. And then also, nope. it makes me feel like you don't want a true spouse. You want a possession. That's what it sounds like. Yes. You want a possession. And he's, that's the this case. is only gonna attract gold diggers, it's real like, women who are really looking for love and all that kind of stuff. More than likely, this his offer will repel them. Yeah. It's yeah. just going to repel them. It's, it doesn't sound good. It no, sound it doesn't. Genuine. It does not sound flattering. It does not sound good. None of that. No. No. Mm -mm. Well, anyways, I done said my piece, and I think we done reached our limit. So, Anonymous, you got anything to say before we wrap up? No, I think we said it all. I, I mean, I, I agree with your perspective. So, And I, I, I shared mine. So, we would love to hear yours. Let us know, guys. All right, you guys. So, thank you guys so much for rocking with us. Until next time, you guys been really... <laughs> you guys been chilling with... Your favorite besties. Bye. Bye.